Hi folks, Andy Rag here. Some of you may know me as M6UAW, so that might be a clue that this video is about amateur radio. Right, some time ago I built a, a two band military style Envis antenna. Insert the picture here, Andy. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to put it up, see if it works. Stay tuned. Right guys, I've got the kit laid out in front of me. So, what is it that we're going to be needing for uh, to establish a mobile station or a portable station? First of all, we need a radio. And we need some power. We need a tuner, some coax for a feeder, and then a mast to get the antenna in the air. This is what we've got. Okay, radio is an FT817. We've got the MFJ904 tuner, that's my Bofang GT3TP for a bit of local action. I've also got my home built tuner, which I may or may not test depending on how we go. We've got the battery, I've got a foam mat for me to sit on. Uh, contingency guy rope kit that's the antenna which hopefully will form its own uh, mast uh, guy in system coax feeder and lastly my life's a breeze six meter travel pole okay I've got the uh, the antenna laid out the coax attached you can see there I've got it a strain relief on the coax so the, uh, the mounting actually pulling on the uh, the coax joint itself or uh, or that coax may come in through that plexiglass plate there but, uh, the uh, four wire elements go out now we've got two 25 feet and two at 37 feet and on the end of that we've got some two mil paracord uh, with a, a loop tied in at 45 feet so if we put a peg in at 42 feet and then I get up 15 foot up in the air that should make all my triangles work out should and that should be a self gain antenna system well that remains to be seen okay we're going to uh, deploy the mast stay tuned okay the mast is laid out and I've got a, a point marked on the section which is 15 feet from the end of the mast. So I'm just gonna put a bit of tape around there just to A, protect the pole and B, just uh, make, the, uh, make the diameter just a little bit wider. Because uh, the nearest drill size that I could find uh, was just a little bit uh, too wide for that particular diameter there. Stay tuned. Right, so the way I've cut these wires and these strings, each string has got a looper on the end at 45 feet. So if I bring the uh, the string, uh, the, the peg in three feet from the end or from the loop, that should be 42 feet. Actually, that was a little bit short. Exact science. Now, all I need to do now is put the antenna up. <laughs> it should be fun. I'm not filming this bit in case anything breaks. Be right back. Okay, as you can see, they're well short. Some of those, particularly that one. So uh, I'm just going to uh, fine adjust, and then we'll see where we go from there. Okay, a bit of fine adjustment later. 
quite a million miles out, but there you go. Right, so what we've got here is two dipoles, one for 40 meters, one for 80 meters. They're not resonant, so I am gonna need the tuner. And the way that the, uh, the dipoles are oriented, is that with the angle as such it should be end is radiation so mostly radiation goes up as opposed to going out we'll see about that i guess it's time to uh, put the radio together and get tuning stay tuned Well, picking signals up, which is good. Let me have a faff. Okay, that's the uh, that's the that's the audio from uh, German station. Perfectly workable. If I understood German, I'd probably give him a five nine. <laughs> Uh, band is particularly busy at the minute. I think there's some uh, contest going on um, on the continent, so I'm going to have to be careful where I transmit. Uh, I'll bring you back. Mike 6, Uniform Alpha Whiskey Portable. Mike 6, Uniform Alpha Whiskey Portable. Is this frequency in your server? Mike 6 Uniform Alpha Whiskey Portable, Mike 6 Uniform Alpha Whiskey Portable. Is this frequency in use, over? CQ, 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 CQ. This is Mike 6 Uniform Alpha Whiskey slash Portable. Mike 6 Uniform Alpha Whiskey slash Papa. CQ, 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 CQ. Mike 6 Uniform Alpha Whiskey stroke Papa, over. CQ, 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 CQ. This is Mike 6, Uniform Alpha Whiskey, Stroke Papa. Mike 6, Uniform Alpha Whiskey, Stroke Papa. CQ, 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 CQ. Mike 6, Uniform Alpha Whiskey, Slash Papa. Calling CQ on 40 meters. Over. CQ, 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 CQ. This is Mike 6, Uniform Alpha Whiskey, slash Papa. Mike 6, Uniform Alpha Whiskey, slash Papa. CQ, 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 CQ. Mike 6, Uniform Alpha Whiskey, slash Papa, calling CQ on 40 metres. Over. And as usual, whenever I call CQ, and know the answers. I'll bring you back shortly. So I've been calling CQ for 10 minutes now, not a sausage. And now I've got a DX station calling CQ. That's UA4 Lima Charlie Hotel. I'll see if I can answer. Mike 6, Uniform Alpha Whiskey slash Papa, over. I don't think that's me as responding to. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm going to 
have to move off frequency here because the guy's having a conversation. That's what happens when you uh, when you stop transmitting for oh, 30 seconds, somebody jumps on the frequency. It is busy today. Uh, I'll see if I can tune uh, below 7.1, but uh, getting into the. the Yeah, I don't really hear that now, he's coming through a lot stronger. But anyway, I want to retune elsewhere on the band and see if we can get find a clear spot. Right folks, gonna to have to bail, it started spotting with rain and I don't want to get somebody else's radio wet. So I'm gonna start packing up double double sharpish. Um from a receive point of view, I'm quite happy. Um I've been picking up stations from all over the place to be honest. Uh, but from a, an actual getting through an establishing contact point of view, not a success. Um, points to note, I didn't bring my uh, screwdriver so I couldn't establish the earth and get, uh, get the radios earth and the trans on the, uh, and the ATU earth. So uh, that's one for next time. Um, but everything else seems to be okay. Um, the, uh, the antenna does tune uh, on... Uh, on 40 and 80 meters uh, I get about 1.5 SWR on 80 meters uh, and I can get it down to uh, well as, as unity as the meter allows uh, on on 40 meters which I don't think is too bad um, anyway like I say it's starting to spot with rain I don't want to get the gear wet so speak to you later Hey guys, that's me packed up. Rain's coming down, not heavily now, but it is coming down. Uh, as you can probably see on my glasses. The gear's away. Managed to get it all in the bag before uh, the heavy droplets started. Uh, so, well, mixed emotions about today. Obviously a contact would have been nice. Um, but, uh, really active on the bands on a Saturday afternoon uh, especially uh, on 40 meters uh, trying to find a, a clear spot where you're not actually treading on somebody's toes or contest frequency is uh, a bit of hard work at the minute so all good practice that was the first time I put that antenna up uh, just think I'll uh, I'll check the lengths that I've uh, that I've got. That's wire and string. Should all be about 45 feet in length to the um, to the loop in the string. Uh, we'll see. Anyway, not to worry. I mean, it wasn't a wasn't a dramatic failure or anything like that uh, obviously the conditions rely on uh, the, the ionosphere behaving as well so and we all know well anybody that's an amateur knows that the uh, all the graphs say that the conditions are crap at the minute but yeah I can still hear somebody that's broadcasting in Russia the uh, UA4 call sign was in Russia anyway I'm almost back at the car now so bid you farewell uh, this is Andy Rag uh, Mike seeks you for Alpha whiskey slash P portable signing off take care see you soon